Whoa. 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 Hi folks, welcome to Bird Dogs of Field. Today we're with a very good top-notch trainer, Jason Carter. Jason has done other episodes for us on bird dog training. We're going to cover steadiness today. And if you're a follower of Bird Dogs of Field over the past nine years, you know that I like a steady dog. I like a dog that's broke to the flush and the shot. Jason is going to help us get there with our dog. This is a two-part series. The first part, we're going to cover basic obedience, establishing the foundation for creating a broke, steady dog. So this is part one, and then part two will be a second episode, and from there we'll go into uh, more formal, advanced dog work with birds, pointing, etc. So I hope you enjoy. This is real dog work. We're not taking dogs here that have already been trained, especially in this first episode. This is real dog work. Let's join Jason. Thank you. Hi, folks. Boy, this is exciting. We're with Jason Carter today. Jason is a professional dog trainer at Merrimedian Kennel. We've had him on the program before, and maybe many of you have seen his episodes on Bird Dogs Afield. Jason, again, welcome to Bird Dogs Afield. Thanks for having me. Well, this is wonderful. So, Jason, uh, we're going to talk, what, about steadiness today? Yeah, I like to go into uh, steadiness and how to get your dog from um, a very green dog that hasn't explored um, bird, bird work, hasn't done much with uh, any of the steadiness, and then move into more advanced stuff all the way to the finished dog. The reason I think steadiness is important for us is because for safety reasons, you need the dog to be at least allow you ahead of the dog. You don't want the dog out in front of the gun, shooting close, uh, jumping at the bird um, during your shot sequence. So it's really important to have a steady dog. Um, if you are relocating a bird, uh, you didn't get a shot on it, and you want to bring the dog back in on it, you're going to have to be able to have a dog that you can handle to find that game. So steadiness is a super important part for harvesting game and hunting, and it's also um, really essential if you want to have a safe hunting experience. Wonderful. Well, I agree with you on all of those points. Uh, let's go to work and see some dogs. Absolutely. All right, good. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete, and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber, low pressure shot shells, Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast, Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, Take on the nuisance of foot odor. Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, outfitting adventures since 1957. Visit woodenstream.com for a dealer near you. Canine Active, providing safe, non-toxic pain relief for your dog. Merkel Shotguns, robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. All right, so what we're gonna work on today is steadiness um, Ruger is a young pup. Uh, his uh, owner was a little delayed. We just got him four days ago here at the kennel. And so we've been working on um, getting his woe down, getting a foundation underneath him where I could take it to the field. Um, in this environment, he's extremely distracted. So you're gonna see me actually train him in ways, um, I'm looking for three things when I'm training him. I'm looking for accuracy, attention, and attitude. Okay, so when we're training him, I'm going to do, take you through some, some woe training initially. What I want him to do is I'm looking at foot action. I need his foot, his feet to be still um, when I say woe. And this environment is going to be super difficult. So you'll get to see all of those pieces uh, right now. Okay, Ruger, come. Good boy. So his, his drive is, uh, he's big into prey drive, so that's not going to be an issue. Um, He's, he loves food, so if, if that's working for him, I'll use a little bit of bait. But because of the environment, food, food isn't going to be very important to him. And, and it can be, actually, if you're using baiting, it can be a distraction for him. So let me see if I can't get him around right now. Roger, come! So if you look at him over here, okay, he's got scent, he's got other dogs. 
um, bird scent. He's got my tracking. It looks like he's tracking me from my previous dog I was training. So I'm going to try to distract him from that. Roger, leave it. Come, good boy. So I got the attention, so I got to reward that. Come, good boy, what you got? What you got? Heel, heel. Sit, 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 good boy, stay. So if you can come right in here, I want you to look, uh, if you get a straight on shot of Ruger here, whoa, whoa. You're gonna watch emotion. Steadiness is all about emotions. You're dealing with the dog's emotion. If you look at him, he's very excited, he's drooling, um, he's very distracted. Look at his eyes, they're everywhere. But through our training this week, I should be able to get his attention. Right there. Okay, the eyes are attached. Uh, I lost it. Right here. Ruger. Good. Okay, you see the ears, the eyes. Tells you he's ready. Distracted again. He's again, he's only 10 months old. Ah. Uh, sit. So part of his training, leave it, come. Part of his training is to get him more focused. So I'm doing it without a lead. I'm seeing that that's a mistake. So I'm gonna put a lead on him. Um, right now and we'll get him back and we'll do the same thing again. Okay, so let's do it again. So he wasn't ready to be off lead, so heel. Sit, sit, come, sit, stay. Okay, and what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to get him to whoa, but I got to get his attention first. Hip, come, Ruger, sit, come, come on, Ruger, come, 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 sit, ah, come on. Come on, Ruger, come. Sit, sit. Good boy, stay, stay, stay. So in introducing my well work, stay, stay. I want to make sure that I am attached because we saw before that he wants to leave. Come, sit. Come, sit, 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 stay. Okay, his finish, his call to recall, will be him coming around to my left side. Uh, he'll, he'll, I think he likes to spin on the inside, but he's supposed to finish right beside me. Ruger, come. Good boy, ah, leave it, come. Good boy, heel, leave it, sit, ah, leave it, come, sit, sit, ah, come, sit, 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 good boy, good boy. Again, he's had uh, next to, he's had very little next to no um, obedience training up to this point. Um, so that's part of our process this, this week is to get a package underneath them that we can take to the field. So very difficult um, dog here. Uh, very normal. He's only 10 months old. Um, eager to please, but at the same time very distractible. Very normal. Okay, come. Sit. Sit. Uh, sit. Sit. All right, so we can't get that right now, so let's do it on the move. Come. Whoa. Whoa. Leave it. Come. Good boy. Heel. 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 Good boy. Okay, so I just became a little more important with a little bit of bait. Come. Let's go. Up front. Whoa. Whoa, okay, sometimes my attitude getting bigger will help me establish a whoa. Leave it, come, come, good boy. Heel, ah, leave it, come. Ruger, come, leave it, let's go, come on. Come, Ruger, come, sit, ah, leave it, come, ah, leave it, leave it, come. Okay, again, I gotta go back to the lead. Whoa. And again, I am jumping way ahead of him. For him, he, I'm getting too far ahead. Whoa. 
So I'm gonna go back up even, I'm gonna go right to puppy land with him. Um, he should have had this work in place already, so I'm going to the table. Okay, he. His trust is really important. I need him to trust me and believe that he's safe with me, I'm where the party's at, and he wants to work for me. Right now, because of his age and his experience level, everything is a distraction. So it's great for you to see, because you may be in the same ballpark. Another thing is, he's, all, he's getting close to a year of age with very little training. Um, a lot of you may feel you're in the same boat and you haven't, you haven't done your work and it's too late. It's not the case with these guys. Um, if you have a three, five-year-old dog, you can always train. Okay, it's okay. Come. And you can always get them back and you get them to, to where you need to be for hunting season, no matter what the age is. Come, walk. Come, good boy. Good boy, walk. Good boy, come on. Come. Good boy, come, 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 come. Walk. Okay, his attitude's improving. He's a little more connected. Still pretty distracted. Come, whoa. Good boy, come. All right. Still, if you look at him here, if you look at his attention, do I have attention? I do not have attention. And so, with enough time and training, I'm gonna start um, prolonging his attention to me, get him more connected. Um, he needs to go back to a sterile environment at home and basement work, and you're gonna, and, and then bring it back to this environment. Um, initially, your dog in, at home is gonna do really, really well. Then you come into a distractible environment and suddenly it all falls apart. It's part of the deal. It's not a big deal. Come. Come. Well. Come, go, good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Oh, all right. Come. Sit. Sit. Leave it, come. Leave it, come. Leave it, leave it, come. Leave it, leave it, come. Leave it, come. Leave it, right here. Good boy. Huh? Right here. Boy, ah, right here. And part of this attention is teaching him to stay focused. And because of his age, it's difficult for him, but it's something that we can train. Watch, right here, watch. Oh, good boy, good boy, yeah. Right here, watch, watch. Now I got his attention. Watch, ah, watch, ah, watch, watch. Eh? Watch. Eh? Watch. Good boy. Okay? And, that, and that's another piece you can train in the process as well. A short break for our sponsors, and then we'll be right back with more training with Jason Carter. Hi, folks. Our dogs work very hard for us. They need and deserve a high-performance dog food. My choice is native. Native has been formulated for the canine athlete. It has none of the low value, hard to digest fillers such as soy, corn, wheat. It has only high grade chicken and high grade digestible grains. It comes in four levels of fat and protein. Each level is formulated for the stress and activity level for your dog at that time. Make the switch today your dog will be happy, and so will you. Hi folks, Merkel is my choice for a shotgun. Whether it be simple backyard clay shooting, or competitive clay shooting, or upland bird hunting, Merkel is spot on. You throw it up to your shoulder, it's always right there. Merkel is known for its elegant, high performance shotguns. The new 40E field grade shotgun is offered at an attainable and an affordable price. The Merkel shotgun is robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Check out Merkel today. You won't be disappointed. Come, let's go. Up front.
Whoa. Ah. Whoa. 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 Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Here. Whoa. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Come. 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 Whoa. 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 Up run. Come on. <whistles> Hi on, good boy. Come around. Come on. Come. Ruger, come. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Come. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be the one for us to use just because he's just into peeing on everything and being distractible. I mean, some good stuff, but I think we, let me go to a different dog that a little more action. All right. So we just got done with Ruger. Uh, Ruger was a very young male. Um, he was uh, distracted by the environment, uh, made training difficult. We just needed to back up a step, take him indoors, and get him finished there before coming back and reintroducing him to this environment. Doesn't mean we avoid this environment, it was just, it was difficult for him today. We'll train it and come back and do it again when he's ready. Again, he's only four days into his training, so he's doing really well for, for his age and for the lack of training he has up to this point. So here we have, uh, Piper. Piper is the same age, 10 months old, um, Griffon, and she's had a lot of training. Um, she's coming to me because she was overtrained, um, stole some trust, stole some confidence, and so I'm trying to instill a different uh, type of emotion in her. So if you looked at Ruger's emotions, he was, he was into me at times, but for the most part, he was more attached to the sense that are around the environment. She it has a hard time controlling her emotions. She gets very excited and you lose action. So we're, gonna, we're teaching her to, to try to be a little more calm and attentive. Um, and we'll take, we'll take her through the same process. Um, she's very food driven. Uh, she follows the food. So we're gonna use that um, to keep it positive for her. Um, and we're gonna watch her, her emotions. If I'm getting too hard on her, you'll know it. Her ears will cup, her tail will tuck and she'll start slinking and then we won't get as good accuracy or attention. So we're gonna play this emotion with her and you'll see where we go. Okay, this is real dog training. Ready? Good girl, yeah. So I'm gonna keep it super fun, super energetic. Piper, come. Good girl, what you got? Oh, good girl, what you got? What you got? When I go into the well here, um, let's, let's take a look at her emotions. So we're gonna do one more. Good girl, so she's not anticipating the well on the table. We're gonna come back. Good girl, well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Again, she's like Ruger being distracted at this point. So I'm gonna connect her to me. Whoa, there we go, good, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's in the process of fading treats, and replacing it with praise. So I don't have a treat in my hand, but it's the same. Ah, whoa, ah, come. She tried to sit, so I moved her, come. Good girl, good girl. Whoa. 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 He's trying to prolong, prolong that attention. Whoa. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Good girl. All right. Good girl. Okay. And then what we do is we take this wall and we're going to move it to the ground. We're going to get her. She's pretty good on the fly. Uh, we'll try to put the whistle to it. At the same time, we're going to try to keep her attitude up. So it's going to be quick. It's going to be a lot of movement. Um, but we want the, what, what she's here for this week is to get her, her accuracy back without the pressure, being able to handle pressure without offending her. So we're, we're going to try that on the run. Um, keep it positive. Keep it moving. All right. Ready? Ready? Up front. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. What you got? 
where she's into the birds. Come on, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because of where she's at, her foot action really wasn't what I wanted it to be. I can clean that up on the table, but it's her motions that I'm dealing with. Okay, so even though she didn't stop on a dime, I'm not gonna put a whole lot of pressure on her for it. I just want her to trust me. Ooh. If you look at her affect, um, come on down here, Stu, take a look. We're at a side angle. So if you, if you take a look at her attitude right now, you got the nervous tail going. She, her head is decently calm. She's a little better now. Whoa. Got some excitement. She's gonna have a hard time controlling her emotions. Some of the hardest part is getting back to her. For her release, I touch her on the head. Um, so when I'm hunting, after I harvest the bird, I can go to her and she doesn't break until she feels that touch. And she really waits for that. You ready? And it's gonna be an explosive release. Fine, good girl! And off she goes. Good girl, come on. So again, we're, we're working on positive attitude, so we gotta keep her moving. Good girl, come around, let's go. Good girl. Okay, she has good attitude. Good girl, ready? Come on, up front, up front. Whoa, whoa. Again, not, not the best whoa, but we'll take it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Up front. And she's already been through the long lead. Normally at this point, we'll take them through the long lead and um, the same process, we just keep them on lead and teach them whoa with the lead. Because when we go down on birds and we have to have the long lead on her, um, we want that lead, that little pop of the lead to mean whoa, okay? Um, there's a few steps we do in steadiness. We, we, we go to the long lead for whoa, and then we'll, we'll uh, add whoa to gunfire. So the shot means whoa. We'll add uh, wild flush. Um, when the bird flies, that means whoa. So going into the dog, there's a lot of anticipation that goes in. The dog's anticipating you coming in. Will the dog allow you to go ahead of it when it's on point? Uh, steadiness actually begins when the dog is aware of you. It's pointing until then. Okay, your, your breeder has provided you with a pointing package. Okay, we draw it out of the dog, and when we get back, when the dog's on point and we come on in, um, it's, the steadiness is once the dog understands you're there. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna, in a little bit, bring out a bird and we'll, we'll show you that aspect. But right now, before we get there, I need to get her woeing um, with, with the gunfire. So we're gonna add that right now. Come. Good girl. Okay, she's very connected. She's doing great. Uh, I gotta go grab my starter pistol up here. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Quick break for our sponsors. We'll be right back with more training with Jason Carter. Hi friends. You know, whether you're a hiker, hunter, jogger, walker, all of those activities create sweat and moisture in your footwear. That moisture leads to bacteria, mildew, mold, all bad things for your feet. To eliminate that moisture, you need a peat shoe dryer. The new PowerCell peat eliminates that moisture and creates a better atmosphere for good foot health. Hi, Bird Dogs and Field viewers. I'm here today with Dylan, who's almost 10 years old and still hunting hard. So in order to help him, we use Canine Active. It's for working and hunting breeds and it is my go-to for pain relief and for an anti-inflammatory. You can use it before strenuous activity to help keep them moving and help reduce muscle soreness, or you can use it after for recovery. Try it today, Canine Active. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna get her all excited, get her moving, and then I'm gonna put the woe um, to uh, gunfire. Come on, up front, good girl. What you got, come on, good girl. So I don't wanna do it with her close, I want her working. Whoa, 
Whoa. 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 Ah. Whoa. 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 If you looked, I used a, a bigger stance. I got wider. I got a little more attitude. Whoa. I didn't lose the motion here. Whoa. She's waiting for that touch. Ah, fine. Good girl. Yeah. Come around. Let's go. Good girl, up front. Come around. Come, good girl. Leave it. So she's distracted. Leave it. Good girl, up front. Good girl. Come on, what you got? Up front. Hey, come on. Up front. Good girl. Whoa. 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 Good girl. Up front. Good girl. Okay, so we got we got her moving. If you look, her attitude is fantastic. She's, she's eager to work. Um, I haven't offended her with the woe. Uh, she's come a long ways. Uh, when we got her on Monday, uh, she, had, she was too much obedience, and she was blinking. Um, somehow she had bridged uh, the woe from training to the woe on birds, and she was blinking birds because of that pressure. We've relieved that pressure, taken obedience out of it, and we're just working on getting her excited and getting those emotions excited. For her to go find game and it's okay there's things to to look forward to there's gunfire there's birds flying so next step we'll do is we'll we'll see how she does on a wild flush well i hope you enjoyed that that episode with jason that was uh episode one or part one of steadiness and we covered the basic obedience now we're going to have part two and that's a separate episode so if this is uh youtube well, you've got to look for that. This will be part two, Steadiness with Jason Carter, and we'll have some great dog work. Uh, we'll have birds involved, so please watch. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, Canine Active, and Merkel shotguns.